Hi all, welcome to the Conti Surveying Studio. In this video, we'll be looking into five things to know before becoming a quantity surveyor. So if you're thinking of becoming a QS, this video could save you years of trial and error. QS is not just about numbers. Most people think QS is only about max and measurements, but in reality, you'll be dealing with contracts, legal clauses, procurement strategies, and even dispute resolution. Soft skills like negotiation, communication and managing stakeholders are also equally important. So as a QS, depending upon for which type of firm you're working, you will be communicating with a lot of stakeholders. If you are a main contractor, you will be communicating with the consultant, the subcontractor. If you are a consultant, you will be communicating with the client and then the main contractor because you will have to certify the payments and advise the client. So depending upon which company you're working, like which stakeholder are you working for? Is it a subcontractor, contractor, consultant, client? The communication is the main key. Drawings change a lot. The design changes are inevitable, especially in the early stages. So you, you need to be prepared for remeasurements, BOQ revisions, and explaining the cost impacts to clients. And hence, you need to be calm and adapt quickly, something that you can never ignore. Right now also, I've been facing all these changes every day, like almost every week, not day. Like if you be, I'll be doing a takeoff from a drawing and the next week, revisions for that drawing come. Sometimes based on the designer, they might cloud whatever changes they have made but sometimes designers don't do the clouding so it kind of becomes a rework and and later on in each stages we need to explain to the client about why the changes happened why the costing got impacted why a particular system price got increased or decreased from comparing it with the previous stage so as a design you no know, matures the cost also gets matures and these needs to be explained clearly to the client. Playing with the drawings, that is one of the most important jobs of a QS. You need to be really specific in terms of the changes and you need to explain it properly to the client. Site knowledge is gold. So even if you are mostly an office-based QS, understanding the site condition is very crucial. A QS who can visualize how work is executed on site is 10 times more efficient in estimating and variation claims. So this is something if you have seen my past videos, this is something that I always advise. If you are someone who is starting to start a career in the QS, first try to become a site QS. Move into the post contract, understand how the site works see the different items that are being documented as a BOQ. So once you see all those items, then you'll always that have that visualization in your mind. And later on in a different stage of your career, when you move into the consultant side, more, more of an office based job, it will be easy for you to prepare BOQs, do the takeoffs and explain things to the client. So I would say, the first five years you need to be at site and then depending upon your interest if you would love to be into the post contracts throughout your career well and good or else if you think that oh you need to have some work-life balance you need to spend some time with your family the monday to friday job is required so then you need to move you can easily move into the consultant side because you already have the site experience i know a lot of pressures who gets recruited by consultant directly and they start their jobs into the office and it was kind of relaxed and so once they get relaxed with that job environment they would never would like to move into the site they would definitely once after moving if they get an opportunity they would feel that this is terrible because they had a good time in the office and now they would not be wanting to move into the site but this is not going to be i believe that not not going to be helpful in your long-term career because in your cv yes, def definitely the interviewer will come to know that 
you don't have any sight experience and that could be a black mark digital skills will set you apart so tools like costex capto candy blue beam power bi and even ai assistants are becoming very standard so the qs who can combine technical knowledge with digital efficiency will always be in demand in my day to day job also i i, keep, I think i daily use ai tools like chat gpt or copilot for any technical doubts i have or anything related to my work i uh, even for drafting emails i use these tools and it is making lot of things easier you need not wait or wait to ask to your seniors or someone else because again that is kind of wasting time you need to wait when they would be free so now you have ai everything can be got or uh, from these ai tools easily you can get the best result out of these ai tools which makes your work also efficient it's a global profession so skills that you gain can be applied in the uk middle east australia ireland and more but each region will have their own measurement standards the contract types and work culture so you need to keep learning continuous learning is the key so depending upon like you need to understand the different standard method of measurements nrm pomi master format arms this depending upon the country these standards are used in each country separately if you are in india usually a standard is not really used so when you move into another country there will be a proper standard a uh, uh, structure is there so you need to understand go through it and then start building your boqs so that is really important so again learning learning is a key that's the main important thing so the final thoughts would be knowing these points earlier could really help you speed up your career growth you need to be adaptable and you need to keep learning and embrace digital tools so let me know like which of these points you resonated with more with you the most or any any points that surprise you like if you are someone who is planning to move into qs you would never knew any of these points was really important as a qs to know let me know in the comments box thanks a lot for watching this video if you're not yet subscribed to quantity surveys video please do subscribe take care bye